You better watch out now. I figured something out. What this whole life's about, yeah. It's not the goal, it's the journey. Wasted emotion is worry. I'll stop being in a hurry. Why the Earth is not flat and is a globe. Lunar eclipses can't be explained on flat Earth. The globe can explain them. Check out these two videos from Dave McKeegan, which proves that ISS is real in space and no flat earther has even touched. I wonder why. No accurate flat earth map that maps the continents. Making an accurate flat earth map of the continents and the distances between them would be easy if the earth were flat. Alas, it is not flat. Apparently, ex-flat earther Tiger Dan found this out too. Who else knows that there is no accurate map of the flat earth and will admit it? Arwen does, in Arwen's description. Though many flat earthers settle for a circle-centric dome enclosed world, I believe this is definitely not the case because of map scale inconsistencies. Even Arwen knows that there is no accurate map of the flat earth because the earth's not flat. Even Flatzoid knows that there is no accurate flat earth map. It's between that point there, whatever that is, is X distance and it would match real life. Mm -hmm. So whether there's a grid system or not on there is relevant. The fact is that the distances across the ocean between the land masses on the globe are correct, but there is no flat representation of the entire world that has the accurate sizes of countries and distances between them. The Agreed. globe is the only that has that. I agree. There's no actual accurate one. The geometry doesn't match flat earth and instead matches the globe. Oh, but elevation angles, I hear you say. <clears throat> Nathan. Yeah, sorry, your elevation angles match the globe, not flat earth geometry, mate. Just like why you can't make an accurate flat earth map, because it doesn't match flat earth geometry. The earth is not flat. Nuh-uh, can't have a curved baseline. Actually, you can, and you can have a tangent by creating a horizontal plane, so. Nuh-uh, black swan. The black swan is irrelevant to a horizontal slash tangent line being created. Nuh-uh, because you claim refraction. That's not a rebuttal, that's just a stupid excuse to fool people who can't think logically. Flat Earth also would have refraction, you know. Does that stop you using the same horizontal line? Stop with the double standards. 60 nautical miles, or 69 miles per one degree of Polaris drop, matches the globe geometry, not flat Earth geometry. 24,901 miles divided by 360 degrees equals 69 miles per degree, the same rate the Polaris drops. Isn't that just so much of a coincidence? No, it's because the Earth's a globe and not flat. You cannot make this work on a flat Earth using geometry. Ever wonder why Nathan Oakley, etc. never shows how to get an accurate position fix from celestial navigation, even though they bang on about it like all the time? Ever wonder why he never gets past the angle stage? Maybe this is why. My Australian friend was kind enough to share this deep correction table from a nautical almanac. Let's have some fun and plot the lines of sight. At a height of zero feet, the angle to the horizon is zero. That is, if you dip your eyes into the water, the horizon rises to the eye level. That's where the term deep correction comes from. Between zero and two feet, it's one minute of angle. Between two and six, two minutes, and so on. Between this and this, 50 minutes. Let's shrink the x-axis to better see what's going on. Ha! Huh. Interesting. I wonder what's the size of the circle that fits in that. 4600 miles seems close enough. What's so familiar about that number? Interesting. Well, thanks for the R, my friend. Why is it using the nautical almanac matches the globe? Because the Earth's not flat. And now Nathan has resorted to talking about video games proving flat Earth. Even orbits apparently require flat Earth. Nice to know he accepts orbits now. Twenty-four hour sun at Antarctica and Arctic. Mr. Beast and everyone lying who's been there, even the great Admiral Bird, that's a nutter. Why don't you go there and debunk that if you're so sure it's not true? Nutter, or their lying doesn't suffice, I'm afraid. 
blueprints that take into account curve but nuh -uh, the blueprints are lying too right because so many people have to just be lying two celestial poles that rotate in opposite directions <laughs> Conclusion, stars don't match the one rotation of sky claimed by flat earth, but they do match the globe, because the earth's not flat. Fire optic gyros that show a 15 degree drift, we all know this one, and we don't really have to go into it do we? Or do you have another rebuttal for it, because it matches the globe, yet again. What they had there was an interferometric gyroscope using laser light and stuff, and they didn't trust it because of heavenly energies or something. So they decided to get a physical mechanical gyroscope made. Um, and they hired a guy called Stefan P to, to do that. Um, and they figured the physical mechanical gyroscope, that would not pick up the rotation of the Earth. Can you guess what happened when Stefan P made a, a physical mechanical gyroscope? Can you guess what it picked up? Mm. I think you're going to say Earth. the rotation of the Earth. Yeah, exactly as we predict. And he tested it over and over and over and over and every time he tested it under every condition it measured the rotation of the earth exactly as we predict that's a win for the globe and a fail for flat earth yet again there are people being convinced by conspiracy theorists while listening to them on satellite radio that the earth is flat <laughs> an almost unfathomable level of irony <laughs> they called a flat earth debate to make it sound more intellectual all right there's two sides to the flat earth debate and if you're a flat earther right now you're thinking exactly <laughs> there's only two sides you smug son of a bitch <laughs> there's the round side and the flat side <laughs> this is how insane this argument is on the round side of this debate is every scientist alive <laughs> not most all of them <laughs> <laughs> 